Good morning, D1. Happy Thursday. Let's go ahead and let's talk about what your jobs are for today. So first things first, we are in our assignments. And it is Thursday, the week of November 2nd through the 6th. We're going to go ahead and scroll down. And you're going to see here are our jobs for today. So first things first, we do our morning work. Every single day we have two jobs for morning work. Our first job is our grammar job. And this week we are talking about irregular verbs. Irregular verbs meaning they do not end in ed. These are going to follow some different rules. We have another video for you um, that is different from the videos that you've watched um, before this week. Um, so definitely recommend watching this. So we'll give you, again, more awesome information about irregular verbs. Then on slide number two, it's going to ask you to um, decide if the verb is going to be regular or irregular. So your job is to decide which is the correct spelling. So, for example, number three, it said the little boy blank down. You would have to decide is it falled or fell. Well, if you read it, the little boy falled down. That doesn't sound right to me. The little boy fell down. That sounds right. So you click and you drag the circle over fell. And you're going to go through and you are going to do the same for all of these. Some of them are regular and some of them are irregular. So you have to read the sentences to decide which makes the most sense, um, which sounds correct. Um, so you're going to go ahead you're going to do that. Then you have your journal and it is My Thoughts Thursday. And you are going to be sharing your thoughts about summer versus winter in your journal. So you need to t pick one, summer or winter, and you need to tell me why it's better than the other one. So if you think winter is better than summer, you need to give me reasons why um, winter is better than summer. Or if you think summer is better than winter, you need to give me those reasons why. Five to six sentences about why that season is better than the other. So that is going to be your job for your journal. Then Zoom. After our Zoom, um, we are going to be going to our Spanish Zoom. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Ooh. No, I'm not. Um, you have your Spanish Zoom, and that is going to be at 10 o'clock. You're going to go ahead and press the hola button, and it's going to take you right over there. And you're going to go ahead, you're going to click the website, and you're going to press the blue button. Remember, 10 o'clock, you have your Spanish Zoom, so make sure you click on that. Then after your Spanish Zoom, take a break. You definitely deserve it. You guys have been working hard. Um, it's going to benefit you guys and help you make you stronger readers. Hello, I cannot reiterate that you. enough. You My friends... Stuff. My friends who are practicing these every single day, they're going to improve so much in their reading skills. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend that you guys are doing this every single day. Um, I cannot stress it enough. It is so, 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 so important. Um, so please, please, please make sure you're doing that. Then you have your text features reading and quick check. You're going to go ahead and press the orange book for that. And you are going to click right here. And again, you are going to be reading or listening to this story, um, this text about Booker T. Washington. And you're going to see again here on the side, we have our highlighted boxes. We have red, orange, yellow, and purple, which means green and blue are going to be within the text. And so you're going to have to highlight green and blue evidence in the text. And your other evidence you have right here to highlight and you're just going to click and drag over the area to answer those questions. Then we see we have page number two. Again, this is where you answer the question. So you're going to be typing your answer in here. You're going to type the letter of the correct answer and so on. So you guys have done this before. You're familiar with it. You have the speakers and the audio to help support you in answering these questions. Um, so just keep that in mind. Then you have lunch. After lunch, you're going to come back. You are going to continue practicing multiplying with 
three. Remember, we have our threes rule, doubles plus one more group. Um, and that's going to help you guys immensely when you are solving for threes. And so, again, you've done this before, you're familiar with it, you are given an example on slide number one, and then you're just going to go ahead, you're going to solve the remaining problems. You are going to click and drag the sunset over the correct answer. Again, you've done this before, so you're familiar with it. Then you have I ready reading, 30 minutes. You are going to go ahead, you are going to click right here to um, do your I ready job. Again, please, please, please do your I ready jobs. Um, it's so, so, so important. It gives me a lot of information. Um, so make sure you are doing that. And then clean up. Um, that is going to be it for your Thursday. If you have other questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys at Zoom. All right, bye, D1.